Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I went into Boots and I picked up this, which is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. Never tried this before, but I saw Makeup by Tammy and Sophie Does Nails both recommend this, so I saw it and I picked it up. I also saw Soph say how this was one of her favourite mascaras. It's the Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. So I picked that up as well. Now Boots have a free for two on their Maybelline products at the moment. So I also picked up this, which is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in shade 65 Seductress. So as I've got those three Maybelline products I thought I would use as many Maybelline products as I could in this video so I'm also going to be using the in instant anti-age the eraser eye that's an eye treatment and concealer so I'm going to be using that as well and the Maybelline lasting drama up to 24 hour gel eyeliner which is my fave eyeliner so obviously I can't do a full face with just Maybelline products, but I will use as many as I can find. Oh yeah. To prime my skin, I will be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So let's get started. Let's prime my skin. Oh, my arms are killing me. I went to the gym yesterday and it was this slow repetition class where you do all these different exercises but really slowly and it really tones your muscles and stuff. And even lifting my arms today is such a struggle. Okay, so now I'm going to put some of this concealer on my eyes eyelids to get them ready for eyeshadow okay so now I'm gonna go off camera and do my eyeshadow because I don't have any Maybelline products so I'll be back soon First, I'm going to use the foundation. Uh -huh. Comes with a pump. I hope this is the right colour. Alright, let's blend this in and see how it does. Okay, so first impressions, yeah, it's gone on quite nicely, doesn't look too cakey, it's blended well, overall quite impressed. Right, let's move on, let's conceal now using the eraser eye, let's pat it on a bit. I do like this concealer, I mean, I've used it quite a lot. I just don't like how it applies. I think they need to maybe rethink the applicator because, yeah, it's just not my cup of tea, really. I much prefer a Dofa style applicator, in my opinion. I really not coon on how this comes out okay now let's blend that in hmm quite like that now i'm gonna um powder using the makeup revolution 
baking powder. Unfortunately, I don't have a Maybelline one. Now let's bronze. To bronze, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution All About Bronze palette because I don't have a Maybelline bronzer. So let's just crack on with that quickly. Okay. Now I'm just going to highlight quickly. Okay. So, yes. Next, we're gonna be going in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Up to 24 Hour Gel Eyeliner. Which, it comes in a little glass tub and it comes with this applicator which has spongy end and a fine brush end so i'm going to use the fine end dip it in Okay, so that's the eyeliner done. Now, I love this eyeliner anyway, so there's no surprise there. It just goes on so easily. Right, next, I am going to use the mascara. This is what it looks like. Let's do this. They're definitely making my lashes look nice and long. I know they're still not majorly long, but that's what God gave me. I am really impressed with this mascara. It is gorgeous. So yes, big yes. Right, last but not least, let's apply some of the liquid lipstick. Comes in a little nice nude for me it smells oh what does it smell of it smells of a sweet can't put my finger on what it smells of right so that went on nicely it's gorgeous nude for me it's supposed to be matte so let's see if it dries down nicely but overall i'm very impressed with these products good buys especially as they was on a free for two so this is the final look loving the foundation and the concealer, I think I look quite flawless. 
10 o'clock it's been eight hours since I put the foundation on and as you can see I'm a bit oily and not just a little bit quite a lot and it's separated on my chin and it's separated on my nose and it's done all right on my forehead but as you can see my forehead's quite oily so good foundation good coverage but maybe not that good for oily skin i mean if i powdered it would help here but um, so my initial i love it i love it has now dimmed down a bit and just a little bit disappointed with the oiliness having said that the lipstick this is the one application I put on when I put my foundation on and it's come off a little bit but there's still quite a bit of colour there and that's been with me eating dinner and whatever else so yeah drinking drinks as well lipstick we like a lot foundation we still like but it's not an all day wear I don't think which is quite disappointing what else did I buy? Um, the mascara. Still loving the mascara. Mascara's, yeah, well, it's mascara. It's not going to fall off, is it? But yeah, I do like it. It's made my eyelashes nice and look longer than they normally do. So yes, slightly disappointed with the foundation. But other than that, really happy with the lipstick and the mascara i will try the foundation again maybe with a different primer see how that goes and i will let you know but anyway just thought i'd do that bye so that's it for this video i hope you liked it if you did please leave me a thumbs up any comments please leave them down below in the comment section if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe thank you for watching until next time bye